<clears throat> hey, what's up? Welcome back for another video. Thank you so much for being here. Let's get started. All right, we're gonna keep this intro pretty concise because I am on the edge of my seat, quite literally. I'm so excited to hear this one. I almost folded and listened to it on my own, but I really wanted to wait and give it time for the reaction. And I'm glad that I did because now I get to sit down and give it my full undivided attention. Obviously, as you already gathered, I'm sitting down to listen to Endless Summer Vacation by Miley Cyrus. And Endless Summer Vacation sounds great right about now because a bitch could use a break, okay? So Miley girl, I'm ready. This album has 13 tracks. Out of those 13 tracks, I've only heard one of them so far. That song obviously being Flowers. I can bounce. But everything else will be brand new to me and I am so ready to get into it. So this is my reaction to Endless Summer Vacation by Miley Cyrus and we're gonna get started right now. All right, track number one is Flowers. So we're obviously gonna skip that one and we're gonna move on to track number two, Jaded. <laughs> Sonically, I have no idea what to expect from this album because I've only heard one song and that song also is the first song so the album can really go in any direction from there. I just want to say though that this woman's voice is aging so well. She has such a unique tone and she's really zoned in on what makes her voice special. I think over the last couple years especially and I'm really looking forward to the vocals throughout this project. We got into the sad girl hours quick, okay? Track two and we're in our feels. We were feeling so strong, so confident in the first song and now look. <laughs> Even though I wasn't expecting to get into the realness quite so quickly, I love it, let's get right to it. I think that Miley's music has always really reflected her personality in a way that she's a very tell it like it is kind of person. Her music has the same energy. She's very straight up and however she's feeling, she's gonna tell you about it in the music. I love that, I really like this song. This is very much feeling like Angels Like You's sister song. Lyrically, a lot of parallels. I love that song. It's one of my favorite Miley songs, one of my favorite songs from Plastic Hearts. This is kind of the version of the song after you've had a little more space and a little more time to think about it. <laughs> and you're in a slightly better place, but you're not quite fully healed. Miley, I'm not sure who you've been hurting, but I appreciate that I gave us some bops. All right, track number three is Rose Colored Lenses. I just listened to this song. My camera froze up. The whole file got deleted. <laughs> Great, we love that. Off to a great start. But basically what I said was, this is the Summertime Vibe song. I mentioned how it felt kind of like the title track of the song without actually being the title track. And then shortly after that, she did say the words, Endless Summer Vacation, so boop. I also mentioned how young people everywhere will be making Instagram reels with rose-colored glasses this summer and this song laid over it. Don't do it. Don't fulfill a prophecy. Don't let her win like that. But overall, this song just feels really good. There's nothing I want to do more than lay by the pool listening to this song. Unfortunately, it's f***ing raining and it's March, so I'm gonna have to wait a little longer, I guess. I'm so sorry my camera is trash, but that's how I feel about that song. All right, this is track number 4,000 Miles featuring Brandi Carlile. Amazing. <sighs> you think I'm crazy? Mmm, the voice. <laughs> It's giving heritage, okay? When you think of Miley Cyrus, you think of the bloodline. This is literally in her DNA. This is the type of sh she was made to make, to sing. The voice just oh, it works so well. You can just hear it in her soul when she sings stuff like this. 
So good. Okay. It's giving front porch. Uh. <laughs> Come on, harmonica. Uh. Love! I love this song. Where is my girl Brandy? I mean, I definitely heard her in the background vocals. I feel like I was one of the few people who was actually excited to see her listed as a collab. Brandy Carlisle can sing! She has a voice, okay? And she's also very OG at this point with this music business She's been around the block, and I kind of love to see Miley collab with people like that. So I'm a little bit upset, not upset. I'm a little sad we didn't get a little bit more of her. However, with like the song, the feel of this song, and like how close to home it feels for her, it, it makes sense that it's predominantly her, and I kind of like it that way too, so, eh, whatever. I'm such a big, big fan of this one. I love the pace of it, I love the production of it, and her voice <sighs> is perfection on this song. Mm. Mm-mm-mm, this one just did it for me. All right, this is track number five, You. I have heard the live version of this that was on her like concert album or live album, whatever she put out. I'm really excited to hear the studio version. I'm really glad she included this. Let's hear it. I've always been a really big fan of the lyrics to this song. She's really tapping into those country roots here this time around, huh? This kind of gives me like You and I by Lady Gaga. I feel like this is her equivalent of that within her catalog. <laughs> notes are so exquisite. I mean, come on. Loved it. <laughs> this one feels very much like what I expected it to sound like. Like I said, glad that we got an actual official studio version of this song because I've been a big fan of it ever since the live one came out. The way she's been committing to the rasp in her voice these last few eras, I'm such a fan of it. Great song, but we already kind of knew her, so let's move on. All right, this is track number six, Handstand. The what? This is that teaser she put on Instagram. I didn't realize this was in an actual song. Also, what is a dinghy? <laughs> that part's cute. <laughs> Ooh, handstand. This one's giving interlude for sure. This song is very entrancing. I found myself just kind of like drifting away. <laughs> this feels like we're entering the after dark part of the summer vacation. We left the pool, the sun's going down. It's time for some things to happen that they can't show on TV, you know? Very interesting song. Very much feels like a segue to a different part of the album. Let's find out. All right, this is track number seven, River. I've heard and read a few things about River, so I'm really interested to hear her. Let's do it. I feel like we're headed to the dance floor. They were right. This song is <laughs> It is. It's as I feel like she knew what she was doing with this one. Uh, it was all very intentional. Everything was on purpose. Jesus.
Naughty. Naughty, naughty. <laughs> this song is obviously about something that I feel like I'm not allowed to say on here. <laughs> Ma'am? This song has very much like a sexual dance floor vibe, obviously, but like an outdoor sexual dance floor vibe, you know? Summertime, I don't know if we're at a festival, if we're in a backyard, if we're at a bar. That's outdoors. We're definitely outside, it's definitely dark out. I do very much love when she does songs like this because I think that she has a great sense of humor. So when we get to see a playful side of her, I always really appreciate that. This is a song that I can see growing very slowly, very steadily and being a huge success or being a huge fan favorite at least, like over time, I think it's gonna age really well. I'm a fan of River, okay? All right, this is track number eight, Violet Chemistry. feeling ever. Ooh. Production is doing things for me so far. Ooh. All that little in the background. I love how chronological this feels. Like, River was like, we were at the bar, the club, wherever the f And this song is like, the next thing that happens after that. Lights come on, clubs are closing, now it's time to go. Where are you trying to go? You know? I like that it feels like a continuation of the same story. I don't know, man. I love that. Hey! May not be eternal, but nocturnal. Oh, that was cute. I don't know if I've ever heard anyone rhyme eternal with nocturnal. <laughs> Boom, that was kind of genius. Come on, lyrics. And this part eats. Let's go. I thought that was the end for a sec. I was about to have a panic attack. You know what this song does for me? This song perfectly captures that feeling, that transition between like being in a public place with someone and like being into someone, feeling someone while everyone else is around, that transition into now it's just the two of us. And it kind of goes into a more intimate, personal connection instead of being out in public, out in a crowd. It's like, okay, everyone's gone, no distractions, it's just us. And like I said, for it to come right after River, which is very much the public feeling I was just describing, these two songs like together, one after the other, that feels really, really good to me. Huge fan of the production here, huge fan of a lot of the lyrics, and especially that breakdown was so nasty. She did a couple things with this one for me personally. All right, this is track number nine, Muddy, featuring Sia. Oh. Oh. The intimacy's over. Mm. What the hell? We were just feeling so good on the last song. It's over. Love is a scam. Okay. Do something, bitch. Let's. Bangers Miley came right on back, didn't she? <laughs> this is like the more grown F you. Oh. <laughs> the way I forgot Sia was on the song, I was like, oh, come on, Miley sounds really different here. <laughs> There's a feature, right? Is there, though? There's only 24 seconds left. <laughs> The way that both the features on this album are just background vocals. <laughs> she was like, you're getting two collabs. Kinda, maybe, a little bit, but I'm good with that. I don't know if I'm necessarily like the biggest Sia fan in the world. I thought this collab could be really interesting. I'm okay, I'm good. This song didn't really need a co-contributor. She had a handle, you know, she was on her boss ass bitch. Sia, just hit him with an outro. I'll take care of the rest. Yeah, this song does give very much like a little bit more of an aged, mature FU slash drive kind of vibe, kind of like a callback to the Bangers era, but in a way that fits this project sound-wise. I enjoyed it, and unfortunately, I think that there will be a lot of people that this will resonate with. <laughs> All right, this is track number 10, Wild Card. Do you wanna play house? I could be your wife. Maybe I can say you might break your heart. Aww, that'd be nice. Don't love me, you is never enough. I'm a wild card. Oh. Boy, I'm a wild card. Okay. 
Hey, Miley girl, the toxicity continues. You know, we were hearing a little bit about this on Plastic Hearts, <laughs> how she was self-admittedly a little bit of the problem, or a problem, or has problems, whatever. But I will always support the self-awareness, so points for that. Oh, <laughs> I feel like the production on this song is the real wild card. She's been going all over the place. She's there, she's not, she's dropping in, she's coming back. But why? You know I love Miley, I will always love Miss Miley. If my partner said this to me or on an album, I'd be running. <laughs> like, what do you mean? What do you mean it's never enough? Like, that's brutal. If somebody that I was with was openly like, we have such a good thing going, but it's never enough, I don't know. Huh? I would literally never recover from that. I do like the song. I like that she's open about these types of feelings, especially because I'm sure there are many, many, many people who feel the same way, whether it's just due to a specific situation or if they always feel like this in relationships, rah, rah. If this resonates with other people, that's great. I have felt this way with someone, but I wouldn't say that I always feel this way. With her, it's starting to sound a little bit like a trend, <laughs> a little bit like a we need to work on this issue type of thing, but everybody has their baggage. It's all good. I do love how powerful her voice sounds on this song. She can really belt it out when she needs to, and I feel like she knows when she needs to. All right, this is track number 11, Island. <laughs> because this feels a little bit targeted, Miss Miley. As someone who loves to isolate themselves, I'm not sure I appreciate what you're doing here. <laughs> This production with these lyrics, I've never felt so relaxed and so upset at the same time. Mentally, I'm on vacation. Emotionally, a little stirred up. Ugh. How many times are you gonna ask me? I don't know the answer. Not the waves. I don't know, your guess is as good as mine, babes. This is like, we're on summer vacation, but we still got some shit to work on. Personal baggage aside, <laughs> I really, really love this song. It's a really cool and really kind of poetic concept, especially within the summer vacation theme of the album. She really took the idea of like going on vacation and turned it into like working through your trauma. <laughs> in a way, and uh, that's interesting, painful, but interesting. I think this one really, really stands out. Could be due to personal ties and personal connections, but that is not the point. Big fan of Island. This was uh, very unexpected for me. Yeah, I don't know, this one's cool. <laughs> Detrimental, but cool. All right, this is track number 12, Wonder Woman. Oh God. woman who has really been through some shit. <laughs> like she has really really been through it. She has really really had some experiences to say the least. And it's crazy because through I would say mostly all of it she's continued to be positive and inspiring and strong and all of these courageous things. You just gotta respect her for everything she's been through and the way that she's handled it. I kind of wish that this just was the last song. It's cute she wanted to throw this little demo on here at the end, but I really wish that this was the closer. First of all, the voice. Mm, the voice, the voice, the voice. The... But also shout out to all of the women who have to be strong for everybody else all the time and feel like they can't break down and go through that. I know many women like that and you are badass bitches and everybody loves you, but it's okay to cry. It's okay. This song is very, very, very important. I hope that this song gets recognition and appreciation deservedly. I don't really have that much to say about it. I just think it's incredibly powerful and I really love that she included this. And I think to me, in my heart, this is the closing. <laughs> this is the end. God, I can't get over how 
good she sounds. All right, well that does some way somehow already bring us to the conclusion of this album. Endless Summer Vacation. She was a lot more emotional than I expected. She was, we went through a lot more of a journey than I thought. Maybe my summer vacations were just a lot more laid back than hers were. <laughs> Cause damn, I wasn't going through all this on summer vacay. I feel like my thought overall right now is this is a masterclass in committing to what you do best while still showing artistic growth. I think that Plastic Hearts will always be such a strong, strong top tier album for her, maybe her best ever, because it really just feels genuinely like her. But I like that she was able to take the sounds and the elements of that album, continue to grow and play with them, and then create this album. We still got a lot of the rock and country elements that made Plastic Hearts feel authentic, but she took it in more of a, you know, soft alternative, maybe like indie rock direction and was also able to include pop elements, make it light, make it fit the theme. This was really a journey and I'm really excited to listen to it more. I'm such a Miley lover. I just always appreciate her sharing her gift with the world. She really is so talented. I'm gonna go ahead and slide a little ranking of the album right over here for you so you can see how I feel about everything after my first initial listen. Obviously this is all subject to change, but as always, please drop your every and any thought in the comments section below. Let me know what you think about these songs, the album as a whole, but that is just about going to wrap it up for this video. I would like to thank you so much for watching. Please take care of yourself and I will see you next time.